Hi there, Raj from Refined here, and in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Refined for Jira Cloud and how to get started with this app. So on your Jira Cloud instance, you can get the app under the Apps section and then Find New Apps and search for Refined for Jira Cloud. I've already got it installed on my instance, so I go ahead and click on Refined. And then in the app configuration, I click on Go to Refined Configuration and this takes me out to the Refined Admin UI. Basically on Refined, what we do is we provide a parallel cloud service to the Atlassian cloud, and on our cloud you can add multiple sites, and then within these sites you can include Jira Service Desk projects and Jira Software or Core projects. Uh, and basically you can add as many sites as you like. Uh, you can use this for different purposes, so you can have them for external or internal support, uh, as issue trackers and so on. One thing that's important to note is that we always respect the permissions set in default Jira when it comes to the projects themselves. So if you have certain settings set on the Jira project, for example, those will be respected in the refined site as well. I'll go ahead and create a site to show you how that's done. and create and I can already click and go into the site configuration so here I can customize settings for the site itself I can add a custom domain for example I can update the logo choose what sort of navigation menu I'd like I'm gonna stick with the content menu uh, and some other further settings that you can check out but I'll go straight into the site builder and this basically is where I create the structure of the site. So what goes into the site, I can add different types of content in here. So I can add what we call refined pages. And this basically, it gives you a landing page and also a structural item that allows you to organize Jira projects under it. Um, the site itself, you can change the theme on it by clicking here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for radiant. And if you want to edit one of the existing themes or create your own, it's as simple as going to the theme section on the left side. And then you can either edit one of the existing ones and add in your custom images or your branding and colors to it. Or you can create a new one from scratch, which is also really easy to do. But I'll go back to sites and the site builder. Let's go ahead and add some content in here. So let's call this projects. And then add a couple of Jira projects under here. Um, let's do that one. And I can go ahead and add uh, one more. And then if I want to group these together under one item, it's simply drag and drop it. Like so. Uh, so for the purpose of this demo, I went ahead and created a finished site structure-wise prior to recording this. So here I have a site with multiple different elements. So I've got uh, refined pages in there, sub items under those pages. Um, and you'll see how this makes the navigation come to life. So I'll click on that button to come to the site itself. And then like you see in the site builder, the elements that I have under the main items in the site builder, those create the drop-down navigation. And for each element that you add into the site builder, so for every Jira project, Jira service desk project, and refined page that you add in here, you get a landing page for it. So if I go to the Projects home and I click on the three dot button, Edit Page, then I go into Edit Mode. And on this layout, I can then add different sections and different columns. And within these, I can add modules for different purposes. So I can add, for example, navigation modules. And these basically allow you to add text and images and links to guide your users on where they need to go. I can add a search. 
I can also add some Jira and Jira service desk specific modules. So I can add a list of my requests or a list of Jira issues that's filtered out, uh, for example, from a different project or from a label and so on. I can also add request types modules that add, allow you to create requests and issue types modules that allow you to create Jira issues. I'll go ahead and show you what the Jira issues module looks like. I've got one set up on this project page. And that's basically what the Jira issues module looks like. So it allows you to display these lists of issues. And if I go into edit, and I edit that module, then you can see that I can select all these all the different columns that I want to display. And I can also filter out on what issues I want to display. So for this particular one, I'm using a parameter that shows issues from this particular project and that have this label on there. I can also choose to go for a dynamic filter from a particular project or an advanced JQL query to show a custom filter that I have in Jira. If I close this, I can go ahead and click on one of the issues to open that up. And this is what the issue itself looks like. I can either create subtasks, add attachments, link it to something else. If I have permission, I can view it in default Jira as well. I can change priority. All of this depends on what permissions I have on that issue. And I can go ahead as well and show you the Jira service desk part. So like I mentioned before, we have the request types module that allows you to create requests. Uh, and then my requests that shows a list of your open requests. I'll go ahead and create a new request. And create that. And that's what it looks like. I can also view my requests under support and my requests in the top right avatar menu. And I can also view issues that are assigned to me or reported by me or watched by me. And that's a quick overview of Refine for Jira Cloud. If you're using Refine for Confluence Cloud as well, then you can create a refined site and populate that with both content from Jira and Confluence. So you can have a site that has Jira service desk content, Jira content, and that also has Confluence spaces and pages on it. So to find out more about Refine for Cloud, you're welcome to check out our documentation site, docs.refine.com. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to us at any time via our support help center, support.refine.com. Thank you for watching.